what's up guys? This is Brandon Lee with uh, Virtualization How To and coming to you from the home lab again. Uh, so what I wanted to go through today and just detail a bit is adding a vSAN host to a cluster. So let's say you had to evacuate a host. Uh, I just went through a blog post where I detailed the steps required to basically get rid of your vSAN data store. Now to do that, it's a little bit more difficult than what you would think, even when you are able to evict the node from the vSphere cluster. So you remove the host from the cluster. Uh, but basically I've done that. Uh, and as you see, this is supposed to be a three node vSAN cluster. But as you see, I only have two nodes. So basically ESX one uh, node was uh, evicted from the cluster. I went through the steps required to uh, essentially refresh the host to uh, a clean state. So basically got rid of the vSAN partitions on the local disks. So what I'm gonna go through is just some simple steps to bring that host back in. Let's say we had a drive failure, we replaced the drive, now we're going to bring it back in. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna right click on cluster one, I'm gonna say add hosts. And I am going to add it back in Pacific host esx1.cloud.local feed in the credentials. So we're gonna say next. Uh, we see our host, we're gonna say next. And ready to complete. So we're gonna see this host, it's gonna come in first, it's gonna say disconnected, it's going to uh, come into the cluster, it's gonna be in maintenance mode, which we see uh, clearly that those steps have happened. So now we have our ESX1 host added back into our cluster. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to now click on the cluster and I'm going to go to configure and we're gonna go down to disk management. So cluster, configure, and all the way down at the bottom under vSAN we have disk management. So I'm gonna click on disk management and what we're gonna see is we see our host, it's in maintenance mode. And as you see, the other hosts already have a disk root. So since we have cleaned the disk, we have essentially started from scratch with this particular vSAN host, we have no disk root. So in order to participate in the vSAN cluster, we're going to have to add a disk root to this host. So what I'm gonna do is select create disk group. I am going to, uh, this wizard asks you which disk is going to be your cache tier disk and then which disks or disk is going to be your capacity disk. So here, pretty simple in the nested environment, I'm going to select the small cache disk. Then I'm going to select the larger capacity disk. I'm gonna say create. And, oops, I didn't have my tasks up. Uh, so once we bring up the, the tasks uh, for vCenter, we're going to see that this task to create the disk group on vSAN is, is currently running. So the uh, cluster is, is bringing in, it has brought in the host, we've created the disk group, and now uh, vCenter is establishing connectivity and coordinating with the ESXi host, creating those vSAN partitions on the underlying disks to bring in that disk group to now participate in the vSAN data store. Now, one thing we need to do is bring it out of maintenance mode to uh, allow the host to actually synchronize data objects. So if we click on the host, or I'm sorry, the cluster, we go to monitor. Um, we're gonna see, basically we're gonna, it's gonna be bleeding from a Skyline Health perspective. Uh, we see we have some reduced availability. 
Uh, so what we will see is that there are objects that uh, need to be uh, resynced, uh, which makes sense. Uh, we've got a new host that we brought in, a new uh, disk group. So those objects that need to be synchronized with those disk groups need to uh, be copied over to our uh, now new host that's brought into the cluster. So what, instead of waiting for the repair timer to uh, kick off that rebuild, you can simply say repair objects immediately and that's under your Skyline Health vSAN object health uh, overview. You can simply click the repair objects immediately and you'll see the task kick off fix vSAN cluster object immediately. And we should see after a bit, uh, sometimes it takes just a, just a little bit, but we should see, and there we go, it's basically already resynced in that matter of time. But as you see, I have no uh, workloads really running. So in vSphere 7.0, uh, starting with update one, we have the uh, new VCLS uh, kind of management VMs that take care of HA now. So those objects are really the only thing that, it, that it's working with at the moment. So now if we look at our Skyline Health, there you go. Even though I didn't even have time to make it to the, uh, basically the resync um, area, I guess, if you will, under monitoring uh, the resyncing objects, it had already synchronized. So now we once again have a vSAN host added back to the cluster. We added the disk group and we allowed the objects to resync uh, with the other vSAN hosts in the vSphere cluster that is vSAN enabled. So hopefully that made sense and hopefully was explained in a straightforward way. They have really made things very fluid in the vSphere client with uh, vSAN. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hit like on the video. Check out the other videos on the channel. And once again, subscribe if you like the content I'm putting out. Hope to uh, put out more content as time goes along. Catch you guys later.